Good evening. The question which was given to you was fx is equal to x plus root 2 square plus 3x minus 5 root 8 square. And you have to write in a quadratic form. Now whenever we have this kind of equations, which is the square. So we always use this formula. That is a plus b square. is equal to a square, the square of first, plus a square of second, then this this sign is always plus. Between two square, it is always plus for the formula. And then if it is plus, it will come plus two first function and second function. Let's try to find the square of this one. x plus root two using the same square. So fx is equal to so what I'm going to do the square of first plus the square of second if you don't want to write this time just write in the this form square of second then plus 2 this 2 is for the formula it has nothing to do with the square or this 2 or anything it will this 2 will always be there plus 2 multiply first function and multiply second function so if if i simplify it so this is x square plus root 2 square is 2 and this is 2 first we write the numeral then we write the unknown number so this is plus 2 root 2 x so that is the expansion of first part now let's go to the second part and that is we write the square of first plus even if it is negative we are going to write plus now this you can write it like this but it is it is good if you write 5 root 8 root 8 can be written as 5 and root 8 you know it can be written as 2 root 2 because root 8 is equal to root 2 multiply 2 multiply 2 so this 2 is 4 root of 4 is 2 so that is 2 root 2 so if you simplify it here because we we know in the answer we have only root 2 so that's why root 8 we have written in this form then so this is 5 multiply 2 root 2 so actually 5 root 8 is 10 root 2 so we are going to use 10 root 2 so 10 root 2 square plus not plus now this is having a negative so if it is a negative we are going to use negative sign this will always be plus irrespective of whatever is the sign there minus 2 2 is always there you can see this 2 is there and this 2 is there so this 2 will always be there then now this one so we are going to use 2 and then first function is 3x 2 multiply 3x and multiply And second part is multiply 5 root 8 can be written as 10 root 2. So this is 9x square plus the square of 10 is 100, the square of root 2 is 2. So that is 200. And this is x we are going to write at the end. 
So this is 2 multiply 3 is 6 times 10 is 60. This is 60 root 2. That's how we are going to write it. So that is, let me rewrite it. So this, so this is going to be negative. 3 multiplied to is 6 times 10 is 60 root 2 x. So this is the expansion of first this part. And this is the expansion of the second part is this. So the expansion is this. Now there is a positive sign in between. So we have to add. Now x square plus 9x square is equal to 10x square. Now this is plus 2 root 2x is is minus 60 root 2x. So this is root 2x, this is root 2x, this is actually 60 minus 60 plus 2 is minus 58 root 2 and x. Now we have what is remaining there, this 2 and this 200. So we can write it plus 202. So you can see is 10, B x root 2, x root 2, so B is minus 58 and C is 2, 2. Now the second part is solve this equation, so we are going to multiply this. So 4, it is going to be 4 root 3y then minus 3 root 3 and root 3 is equal to 5y plus root 3. This is a linear equation. It is not a quadratic equation. So, we put y on one side. So, we have two values of y. One, uh, the coefficient having y one is this, another one is this. So, so if I put it like this, why this screen is dancing? So, if I take y common, this is 4 root 3 and 5 will come here, so minus 5 is equal to this is root 3. This one is root 3, root 3 is 3. 3 multiplied 3 is 9. This is minus 9. So it is going to be plus 9. Now we have to separate y because we have to solve this equation. So we divide by 4 root 3 minus 5 and the same division will come here. 4 root 3 minus 5. This we can cancel. So we have y is equal to, let's say, 9 plus root 3 over 4 root 3 minus 5. Now, this denominator is irrational, so we have to make it rational by multiplying this by 4 root 3 plus 5. You change the sign. That is. 4 root 3 plus 5 over 4 root 3 plus 5. So, if we are going to solve it, this we are going to use a minus b, a plus b is equal to a square. So, 4 square is 16, root 3 square is 3, always sign is minus, 5 square is 25. So, this is the easiest way. Now, 9 multiply 4 is 36 root 3. 
I multiplied this. Now I'm going to multiply 9 by 5. There's no negative sign, so 45. Root 3, multiply 4, multiply root 3. So root 3 and 3 is 3. Multiply 4 is 12. So plus 12. And this is 5, multiply root 3. Then plus 5 multiply root 3. So now what we have here is this is 48 minus 25 this is 23. Now we have two terms of root 3 36 plus 5. So that is 41 root 3. And we have 12 plus 45, that is 57. So you can see this, our answer is correct because we are getting root 3. So this is equal to 57 over 23 plus 41 over 23 root 3. So we have this is the value of A and this is the value of B. Thanks for watching.